Hello, this is Stephanie from apasthecmaexam.com. Today, I'll show you the important dates you need to know about the CMA exam. CMA exam testing windows. One of the most important dates to keep in mind is when the exam takes place. Unlike, say, the CFA exam where you have fixed schedules in June or December, you don't have anything like that here. There is instead what we call the testing windows. You are allowed to pick and choose any working day within the testing window to sit for the exam. The testing windows are January to February, May to June, and September to October. That is, two months of opening followed by two months of closing every year. It's pretty flexible ever since the exam is fully computerized. The next question is, when should I schedule the exam after the application is approved? The IMA suggests that you should schedule at least six weeks in advance to make sure that space is available at your preferred testing center. To me, it depends. Scheduling early does have an advantage. You have to know that the, set, the testing centers cater many different professional exams, so there is a fair chance that popular centers got filled pretty quickly. My observation is that many exam candidates tend to schedule the exam towards the end of the testing windows. For our exam, this means end of February, June, and October. However, since we don't know the timing of the other professional exams, this information is not that useful. At the same time, not scheduling early has its benefits. For example, you can take the time to study at your own pace and without the stress of paying rescheduling fees. My recommendation is to take the middle ground. Schedule your exam three to four weeks in advance in order to take the benefits on both sides. Other important dates. There are two deadlines that you must be aware of regarding this exam. First, you must register for the first exam and pay for the registration fee within one year. And second, you must complete the CMA program within three years. Both deadlines start counting from the day you pay the CMA entrance fee. Let me give you an example. Let's say it's June 1, 2014 and you pay the entrance fee today. You have to register for either Part 1, Part 2, or both parts on or before June 1, 2015. You will have to complete the CMA program before June 1, 2017. If you fail to do that, it's not the end of the world, but you need to pay the entrance fee again. Ideally, you should be able to complete the exam much faster. Here's a typical plan that you can work towards for your own CMA journey. Apply for the IMA membership and pay the entrance fee in June. Pick a CMA review course and start studying in the same month. If studying goes well, register for the CMA exam latest by early August. Sit for the first part in September and then sit for the second part in October. Pass the two parts, fulfill the experience requirements, and get your CMA certification. I hope this video shows you the important dates of the CMA exam and how you can schedule to pass within a few months. If you find the explanation helpful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more information on the CMA exam. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.